Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm just going to take you along for a little day in the life type video and just show you all the things that we have going on today. So I'm starting off here by making some breakfast and we are having some sourdough pancakes. And I'm also making some blackberry syrup to put over our pancakes. After we finished eating breakfast, there were still a few people in my family that were hungry. So I cooked up some eggs and some leftover sausage that I had from the breakfast yesterday morning. serve that to the children and my husband that would still want a little bit more than just pancakes. Once we were finished with breakfast, I got the kitchen all cleaned up because cleared off the table, got some dishes done just to get ready for the day. Once the kitchen was cleaned up, it was time for the baby's morning nap. So I got him down for his morning nap. I made my bed and then this video was actually taken on a Monday. And on Mondays during his morning nap, that's when I sit down to write my blog post for the week. So I sat down and did a little bit of blog work while the baby was sleeping. After nap time, I got some laundry going in the washing machine. I had some clothes to fold, so I did some laundry. And after I do the laundry, typically the kids will put away their own clothes. I usually put away my clothes, my husband's clothes, and the two babies, but the older three kids will put away their own clothes. After we are done with some laundry, my daughter and I made some pickles. We have a lot of cucumbers right now because it is growing great in all the gardens around here. So we made some refrigerator pickles just by slicing up some cucumbers, adding in some garlic, fresh dill, a little bit of vinegar and water, and then you just put these in the refrigerator in about 24 hours. They are really delicious. These are not fermented like um, normal pickles, but these are just refrigerator pickles. My kids love them and they make a really easy side for all of our meals during the summertime. After we were finished with the pickles, I started lunch. Now we kind of had a random lunch today because we had some leftover stuff in the refrigerator and I needed to add just a little bit to it. So I started off by making some jalapeno poppers. We have a lot of jalapenos from the gardens right now as well. And so I just slice these up. I make sure to get all the seeds out so then they're not very spicy so the kids can enjoy them too. I add in some cream cheese, wrap them in some bacon and bake these. I also 
also made an Italian salad. I made my own dressing with some avocado oil, white wine vinegar, some lemon, and also some spices. And I just served this salad in bacon jalapeno poppers with some leftover meat that we had in the refrigerator and we also had some leftover peas. So it was kind of a random lunch, but it got the job done. Everybody was full afterwards. lunch the children go down for their afternoon nap or quiet time and while they were sleeping I did a little bit of work outside I first started off by cleaning our sunroom uh, we eat a lot of meals in here so I like to just sweep the floor and then after I'm done sweeping and kind of putting everything back together I spray it down with some homemade ant spray it's just peppermint essential oil and some water this works really good at repelling ants and spiders and bugs so I like to keep the sunroom sprayed with this it kind of gives it a nice fresh smell and then also it keeps all the bugs away When I was done cleaning in the sunroom, the kids were up from their afternoon nap and we all went outside. And while they're outside, I just work in the yard. We have a lot of flower beds around here that need a lot of weeding. So while the kids were outside playing, I just weeded all the flower beds. done weeding the flower beds. I went back inside to get dinner started. I am just making a gravy with some homemade bone broth and a little bit of air root powder and then I'm adding in some diced onions and some round steaks. I like when I have round steaks I like to slow cook them in my Dutch oven. It's a great way to make them really nice and tender. After they cooked for about an hour I added in some carrots just to have that with it and then when it was all finished I served this with some leftover mashed potatoes that we had for dinner a couple nights ago. Um, the round steaks, the carrots, the veggies, and then I topped it with some of that gravy and I also served this with a little bit of sauerkraut. After dinner, I had a quick cleanup, just doing all the dishes. At the end of the day, I like to fill my diffuser with some essential oils, light a candle, and just freshen up my flowers on the table. We have so many flowers outside, so I love putting new flower arrangements in the center of the table just to kind of end the night. Thank you guys so much for following along. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.